Hello there, I'm Jenny from 24 7 Crochet. Today I'm looking forward to teach you how to make a super cute bow tie for your pet, either for your dog or for your cat. I have one here in this green color and I even added some nice embellishments, some accessories to make it look even more cute. I guess this should be maybe for a female, <laughs> but it's really up to you how, which size you choose to make it. Like I would say this is like a cat size. So I would use hook size five and I would chain up 41 for a cat. Um, what I really like about this uh, bow tie is that you sew it on on the back side so it won't be like flapping and then you can also add some texture by sewing it maybe like make it a little bit shorter so you will get this nice edge here you could make it flat as well but i think it's really nice when you put it together this way so just to give you an idea of what we will do this is optional of course i have another one i'm not so happy with it it's just too big but I will show it to you anyways. Uh, <laughs> this is bigger. This is more like a dog size, like for my Chinese street mix. It fits perfectly. And I'd say it's the same size also like for a small schnauzer. But you can just um, measure on your own pads and choose whatever size is that benefits you. But this is to give you an idea of what it looks like without this uh, jewelry. We will just use the yarn to make it look pretty. Okay, so today I will make a size that fits a dog and it's my friend's schnauzer. His name is Cosmo. So you start by making a slip knot. And I'm using this yarn because this is just my favorite yarn these days. It's so delicate and comfortable and soft and nice to work with. Uh, and I think it gives a really nice finished look. Okay, so for this schnauzer, I will actually make uh, 47 chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is the chain. Now, this is the time where you should check. I mean, this is a slip on, so it will stretch. So, make it a little bit tighter, like a little bit snuggy and then um, just make sure that it's the, a good length for your dog and try not to twist the chain that's actually very difficult not to <laughs> and you will connect it because this is the base this is the the collar so i will just make a slip stitch to connect like so and through this one as well there we are okay so this is where you actually start doing oh what happened oh what happened i have to do it again what happened no yeah as you can see i mean i've done this so many times one two and i still manage to mess it up can happen to the best yeah <laughs> nobody's perfect okay let's try not to mess it up this time okay slip stitch done make another one to secure the slip stitch and we should be ready to start doing our half double crochets so i'm sorry that you know it's a little bit hard to see for you with this yarn because it's so thick and furry but if you are unsure about how to do half double crochets I have other tutorials for that 
So if you already done half double crochets, you, you, you know the drill. So you will yarn over, insert, yarn over and pull through and you are supposed to have three loops on your hook. You will yarn over and you will actually pull through all three of them. And then in the next stitch, another half double crochet. And that's actually, that's what you do. So in this tutorial, I will make it this size, like no, no wider than this, but you can of course add an additional round to make it twice as wide as I'm doing. Anyways, you will just continue to place your half double crochets in every stitch. Continue with that, press pause, and I will meet you at the other end. Here we are at the end, and I will just make a slip stitch to join, and another chain like this, and cut off the yarn. You can leave a nice piece of strand here actually for later. Okay, so this is the color. This is this part of the bow. Now we will start making this one. And for the bow, we will actually just do single crochets and we will add a border at the end to make it a, a nice finish. Like here, we will do borders all the way around to give it a nice finish. I mean, this is such an easy thing to make. And it's so, I think it's such a nice surprise, you know, if you have friends with pets, it's just such a nice gesture to maybe surprise them, you know, with making a bow tie for their pets. Okay. So, for this one, I will chain 10. No, sorry, I will actually chain 11, as the 11th chain will be my turning chain. And then it will be 10 single crochets. Okay, one, what happened? What did I do? Yes, I made a slip knot. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like this. I think that looks pretty small. Why did I say ten? Seriously, I think I would actually make it fifteen in this case. I mean, may maybe like if you make it smaller and like with a smaller chain. You could also make a smaller bow if it's like for a small cat. But in this case, I think we need actually this size. Yeah. Okay, I will make an extra one like this for my turning chain. So what you will do now is actually just place single crochets. Like this. In every stitch you make a single crochet and you will go back and forth for five, five rounds. Again, it, this is also about taste. I mean, you could make it thinner or wider. It really depends on your taste. But in this tutorial, I will make five rows of single crochets and then I will add the border. And for me, in this case, for my friend Schnauzer Cosmo, I think this will be the perfect size actually. So continue to do your single crochet crochets in every stitch and I will see you when you have finished your row five. This is five rows of single crochets. So don't cut your yarn just yet because we will add a border of single crochets. And here, honestly, just improvise. Just find a place for it which you find suitable, insert your hook and make a single crochet. And just continue doing this all the way around and don't cut off your yarn, just keep it. I will add an extra 
chain just here in the corner so it won't be stretching. So in every corner you can add an extra chain, chain like a turning chain. <laughs> Time to finish up. Okay, you just leave some yarn left so you can weave it in later, like this. Okay, so now you will weave in the loose ends, and then we will take a piece of yarn and we will just sew the yarn through and pull so we will get this nice effect on your bow and then we will attach it to the collar so start by hiding your loose ends secure them well and then we will continue when you're done with that okay so you have sewed in all your pieces of yarn secure them well and don't cut off these just yet because we will actually use these loose ends to attach your bow to the collar on the sides later so we will be able to add some structure okay so what i need you to do now is make sure you have this nice long piece of yarn and what we will do now is to you fold it to find the middle like this and then you just add your needle and you will go like up and down to weave in the yarn try to make it as straight as possible and pull through Take the needle off and now magic, ta-da, like this and just use the yarn in both directions and make sure it's as even as possible and then you will just continue and honestly, this is the time where, I mean, if you would like to add another color, this is the time if you want to make some variations. You can add another color. You could also, if you wanted to, add another color for the bow uh, border. So many possibilities. That's what I love about crocheting. It's really all about creativity, isn't it? Okay, so when you're happy with the results, you turn your work and you make a nice knot, double one, like this. And now here at the collar, it's not the most pretty end, but it doesn't matter because it will be covered by this bow so now you can use these two loose ends to actually tie it to fasten it off to the collar so easy makes it fun yeah okay so we'll just leave these for now but this I will, of course, sew into the collar to hide. And what we now have left, that will, will also kind of stabilize and make the bow stay in place, is, you know, we will make it 
stay like this. And what you do is you use these loose strands from the collar and you will just... So if you want to, of course, you can stretch it and make it stay like this. That's also nice. Or you can pull them in a little bit, like a little bit inwards and you will have like maybe a shorter bow. So since I'm using the same yarn, the same color, and this yarn is so easy to work with, it's kind of covering up any irregularities. So no wonder I love it. So you will just And remember that there will be like pets wearing this. So I would spend some time to secure all the yarn pretty good. I mean, if they have a play time, a play date with other dogs, this might come off. You know, this is just for looking beautiful. But this is it actually. So you just use the loose yarn, the loose ends, and uh, make sure to secure them very well and it will look super cool okay check it out this is the result I, i'm just saying too cool for school this is just such a great bow tie and i have to say i also absolutely love this color it's like deep uh, petrol blue but don't forget i mean you can have so much fun also with colors if you do the border the edges in a different color this one can be in another color this one could be in another color there are just like so many options just be creative and have fun and I want to say thank you so much for watching this tutorial I really hope you liked it and that I could inspire you to make a lot of nice gifts for your uh, friends who has pets or maybe also like you know for your own pets but this is just so much fun. So happy crocheting.